Do chilies make you dumb? Can chilies even cause dementia? Some new research from Qatar University shows that there's a connection between eating chili peppers and the risk of mental decay. Even worse, some peppers are so hot that you might need to go to an emergency room. In fact, potential injuries include intense headaches, vomiting, and in the worst case scenario, cerebral hemorrhaging. So, how can chilies affect your intelligence? And how can you stay safe while eating the hottest chilies? Well, here's how you can survive eating hot peppers according to science. Chilies are added to food all over the world to enhance your eating pleasure and to boost flavor. Who doesn't love a spicy chili on a cold day? Or a cool cucumber chili salad with a squeeze of lime? People cook with many varieties of chilies, jalapenos, habaneros, scotch bonnets, ghost peppers, and banana peppers are just a few that heat up everything from Mexican burritos to the Indian spinach dish, sag paneer. Peppers evolved to be spicy because it protects them from being eaten by animals. But their defense doesn't always work against people who love eating them. Most people can handle eating chilies just fine, which is why so many world cuisines include so many different chilies. Because some chilies are hotter than others, the Scoville scale was developed to rate their spiciness. Some hot peppers, like ghost peppers, score very high on the scale because they have a large concentration of capsaicin. Some ghost peppers score over 1 million Scoville heat units. Others, like banana peppers, are mild in comparison with just 500 Scoville heat units. So, can hot peppers really hurt your brain? The burning sensation from a hot pepper comes from the chemical interaction of capsaicin with our pain receptors. It isn't the seeds that contain the heat, but the pepper's pith, which is the spongy lining inside the pepper. While this does cause some inflammation, there's rarely any actual tissue damage or burning happening at all. It just feels that way. How chilies could possibly harm you, though, is by causing mental issues as you get older. According to a study published in the journal Nutrients, a large group of people who consistently ate a lot of chili peppers tested positively for mental decline. The study, conducted with 4,582 people over the age of 55, showed that a possible link exists between chilies and dementia. People had twice the risk of mental decay if they ate more than 50 grams of chili peppers each day. So, how can you enjoy eating hot chili peppers and stay safe? First, eat fewer chilies, less than 50 grams per day. That shouldn't be too hard, unless you love extremely spicy food. If you really crave more spice, just remind yourself that you want to be able to remember which of your grandkids put peanut butter in your socks when it's time to write your will. Second, eat dairy foods. Dairy foods, such as milk, ice cream, and yogurt, contain oil and fat, which dissolve the capsaicin. Third, drink alcohol. Any hard alcohol will cool the burning in your mouth. Beer won't work because it's mostly water, but vodka will. Fourth, eat oil. Olive oil and vegetable oils have a lot of fat, which will coat your tongue in spice-dissolving relief. Fifth, take medication. If you've been eating too many hot peppers, it may be time for one of the many over-the-counter medications that treat indigestion. It's a good idea to couple that with a milder diet for a while, like rice and beans, without the chilies. In the meantime, try to find balance in your diet. Stay fit, drink plenty of water, and exercise. The best way to stay mentally fit is to live a healthy lifestyle. While there is a possibility that chili peppers could cause a mental decline, you'll likely avoid this by eating fewer chilies. Try to enjoy chilies in moderation, and if you follow the advice in this video, you too can survive eating hot peppers, according to science.